against this uh, argument. Why, why is the president staying too long? I'm beginning to wonder whether the two term limits did not, was not decided upon the way the person behaves after some time when he's in the leadership. Now, recently, the B2C boys produced a song featuring Bruce Melody from Rwanda, and in that song, there's a line that says, thank you, God, it's a brand new day. And indeed, I think it's very important to thank the Almighty for a brand new week and a brand new day like this one. Right here on The Buzz UG, I want to say a very good morning. Welcome to the home of all the latest trending stories making headlines in the country. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, going to the details of the stories that I got for you this morning. Uh, President Museveni's friend and former minister for housing, that is Captain Francis Babu, is very disappointed in President Museveni for using his powers to appoint unqualified people who are not able to run particular offices in this country, Uganda. Now, Captain Francis Babu said President Museveni's long stay in power is causing him to be so powerful in that he no longer wants to seek advice before making decisions in some areas. I used to argue against this argument. Why, why is the president staying too long? I'm beginning to wonder whether the two term limits did not, was not decided upon the way the person behaves after some time when he's in the leadership. He becomes so powerful that he's not willing uh, to, to bend a little bit here and there. Now, Captain Francis Babu said all this because of Jennifer Bamuturachi, who is trending so big time in the media for not having qualifications for the chief executive officer of the Uganda Airlines. There are many ministers whom you see and you wonder. Yeah, they are there, you know. Uh, if they have eyes, they can also see. Omukuru wafe, akirize system zizikole, akirize rundi kwa system zizikole, ngabwe zisani de okukola. So, alimekwe yingiza mubi ntubye really. Well, there you go. Uh, the female voice right there is for Edith Sempala, a leader Women's League in General Mugisha Muntu's party and... However, the Minister of Information and Technology, Honorable Chris Bariomosi, said Honorable Joel Senyonyi and his entire Kosase team just want to make news. Otherwise, they would have first investigated fully before bringing out this issue to the public. <laughs> Well, in other news, uh, the leader of opposition in parliament, Right Honorable Mathas Mbuga, has warned NUP bloggers whom he says have made it a habit to attack and discredit elected leaders on social media. Horrible Mathas Mbuga said over the weekend at the Thanksgiving ceremony of Honorable Joyce Bagala Ndwatwa. Uh, it should be remembered that a section of NUP bloggers have recently attacked him on social media after meeting with the newly appointed Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Honorable Nobat Mao, in his office of the Leader of Opposition at Parliament. <laughs> Baba inesho bijibakoze, 
Mubaite mucho muchoto cha mukitao ruze singo mugere na bo. Temuge na huge na kupanga sabu simu. Na ya ulanchi au NUP au Wenzonga na inekizibu kuona lo baza ke. Na chende kumoti imbaga. Na mwa ulanchi na chile resari wa bika kwa guli damaluo. Na mwa ulanchi. Ngari ya pansi za chile res. Na mguli yenzwa ya maluo. Na mwa neta tawa kumi pili mubi tan. Na gena kusimu na ufumaza keba alaba na gata alaba Na mutegele anja ni mwaula Kumunduo we nsongo we simbanga ine nsongo ili mwa 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 Lima muna ngango mwlawe Mulekera okole vye chane jitoku Muve mwikulwa vya haba wanguli Haba wanguzi Bama nya evyoru kale Ne evyo mwenyumba Tuwa yu taba halulu wa wanguli la kusite sukwea Ngati mwaze kwete esa mwiki muna ataba alamu Well, there you go. That's the leader of opposition in parliament, Horebo Mathas Mbuga. He looked to be very disappointed. Actually, on Friday, he posted himself, you know, smiling with no but Mao, as you can see right there, something that did not go well with some NUP bloggers. I'll keep you posted on this story. Well, in other news, over the weekend, Horebo Joel Senyonyi accused the Minister of Tourism, Horebo Tom Butime, of intimidation and threatening him over the Uganda Airlines investigations that have suspended Jennifer Bamturachi. Now, the latest development is that this Honorable Minister, Tom Butime, has denied Joel Senyonyi's claims, saying that he just had a phone call conversation with him, but he did not issue any threats to him. Now, the minister, however, declined to give out the details about the conversation he had with Joel Senyonyi. Uh, Uganda police has promised to investigate this matter and they will keep us posted. Well, in other news, a Ugandan woman identified as uh, Justin Awar, 59 years, has gone missing in Rwanda. It's reported that Justin entered Rwanda through the Gatuna border for a pilgrimage journey. Unfortunately, she has no phone with her and uh, this has left the relatives very worried. However, the Rwandan government has promised to keep on the search and uh, they will keep the Ugandan responsible authorities updated. Well, there you go. That's the latest update right here on the Buzz UG. And I want to thank you so big time for being part of the Buzz family. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. August is finally coming to the end. I don't know how you're feeling about this month, but we are bursting into September. And this is my birthday week. I'm very, very excited, guys. I just can't wait to celebrate my birthday. Otherwise, my name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It's a bye for now.